Right, so the Chinese market uh, reopened after seven days uh, of a holiday and then uh, let's have a look at how did the Chinese market fare before going into this kind of holiday. Well, the uh, CSI 300 index surged around 25% uh, just in a week's time and the Hang Seng index uh, surged about 9% during the time when uh, the Chinese markets were closed. So, so this was a very good start uh, uh, to the Chinese economy in the morning. Uh, but we'll also look at how the Indian markets uh, did, you know, the Indian benchmarks uh, however weakened in the same period nifty was off around six percent uh, five and a half percent to be precise from life highs uh, made on 27th september but uh, then we'll have a look at the kind of uh, fi selling that happened in india well fi sold over 30,000 crore uh, from the indian equity markets in october so this is largely looking out to be like the fis are taking their money out of india and then you know putting uh, into chinese markets but then if we can roll over to the next slide uh, we'll see that the, what kind of reforms were uh, made in Chinese market well uh, but but before that let's move on uh, let's talk about the golden week holiday well uh, October 1 to 7 were closed for the Chinese markets uh, because of the golden week holiday as I mentioned and uh, uh, there were the latest reforms there were three reforms that the Chinese economy uh, the Chinese central government made uh, number one is that they lowered the reserve requirement uh, by half a percentage point and this uh, boosted the liquidity in the Chinese market this was followed by the benchmark interest rates being cut by about 20 basis points to one and a half percent but the major reform was made in the housing sector uh, well uh, they removed the floor on mortgage rates number one and they also removed restrictions on buying second home so this was a major stimulus uh, to the housing market uh, and this also weighed on the metal index as well uh, well uh, the Chinese stocks actually gave up the gains as the NDRC uh, underwhelmed at the briefing today morning well the market was expecting major reforms in the meeting today but uh, that didn't happen and disappointed the street uh, well uh, previous reforms were however reiterated uh, so that is uh, negative is what the street uh, believed uh, in the morning and that is why the Hang Seng index uh, actually slumped down to uh, about seven to eight percent but let's talk about what CLSA believes on Chinese and the Indian economy uh, well uh, in in the model portfolio they have raised uh, China to five percent overweight by reducing their overweight on India to 10% from the previous 20% that they have. Uh, uh, now, this is on the back of three reasons, largely on valuations. They believe that the PE discount that China has in relation to India is at 53%. Uh, the PB, that is price to book discount, is at around 64%. And it also gives two times the dividend yield than India. So these are positives for the Chinese economy as against India. Uh, and they also reiterated three key witches, as the CLSA pointed out. Uh, number one is that the market is liable to be saturated by the new IPO issuances, you know, that are coming in uh, in the equity markets. Uh, next one is that uh, it also states that rupee is vulnerable to elevated prices. And lastly, we'll see that uh, how SEBI has curbed the retail derivatives, and that could impact the participation of retail investors into the Indian equity markets. But lastly, let's talk about the positives of the Indian economy. Where well, CLSA believes that this one is just temporary for the Indian uh, markets and India still offers the best emerging market growth strategy. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned, this does a temporary reduction is what the brokerage house believes. And lastly, in terms of ROE, that is return on equity. Well, India, India's return on equity is better than China at around 15 and a half percent versus 11 percent that China offers. But temporary, yes, in the near term, uh, China is gaining at the exp expense of India. But this is just temporary, temporary is what CLSA believes.